Hey guys, a bit of a different type of content today. Uh, we're gonna have an interactive video bug. So what do I mean by that? I got coached by a pro player, by my coach, by Frappy, uh, on that game specifically. And he called me out on a couple subjects. Uh, actually, I'd say four or five big things that we talked about during this game. So there's two ways to enjoy that video. Either you just watch the VOD and, and, and enjoy it as usual, or you actually try to see, try to look, try to coach me yourself. Okay, what are the mistakes that you think that I did in that game that actually cost us the most? And then at the end of it, after the gameplay, I will walk you through the things that we actually talked about. This way you can compare, see how good you are at, at VOD reviewing and if you actually saw the right mistakes. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it could be fun to have it this way. Hope you will enjoy it, guys. I will see you at the end of it. Much love. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so everyone's doing well, playing on the smurf right now, facing a Teemo. Uh, I really like to go cleanse into Teemo, but this game I didn't really feel to because I have nothing else to cleanse, like absolutely nothing. Also, there was a slight chance that it was actually uh, Kai'Sa top and Teemo mid. But, but yeah, basically, like it, it's only valuable for him, so I felt like not going cleanse. And... I might buy a QSS though, at some point, not too late, if I get some gold, I can pay the QSS tax, we'll see. So let's see, we have Lucian, Lucian Pike against uh, Nina and uh, Senna, so I mean it's pretty obvious, my bot lane is looking to stomp, their bot lane is looking to scale up, uh, their bot lane probably have the prior though, I mean it's gonna depend do we hit hooks. Yeah, where it's, it's kind of like flippy on my bot. So thing is, we don't really have an early game jungler. He spikes at level six, and then at level six he should be part of my bot. I mean, he could. We can kill top pretty easily. We we can kill mid fairly easily. So Nocturne is gonna have a really good impact. We just need to make sure that Jin Zhao doesn't like, get uh, out of hands before Nocturne can have an impact. And then mid lane, they're both scaling. Okay, so can be scary. Later on, once she has scaled. Timo might be in this somewhere. Well, I missed one. He missed two. Take that as win. And most likely, uh, Zin started top. Just dropping an auto. Keep my fury up so when I get poked. I can press some nice cues. Okay, starting to hit the wave, so I would hit it as well. I have a feeling that there might be Zen here. Okay, I was just hovering. Just being that because he could he could see a potential gank up. But but it's worth it. Okay, so far we're chilling. I think on the bounce back I'll get maybe level four first. Oh never mind, here it's already level four. At least like on the bounce back I have space. Really nice. Let's flash and ignite. 
Bro, I told I told you it's worth it. 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 No, no, no. My auto didn't go up on... Like, it was a an attack move click on the melee minion, but the melee minion died. So it went on the... On the cannon. Oh, bro. I've been missing so many CS. But at least... I killed them. And I'm up in CS. And I'm up in XP. Zinzao alive, no shit. We knew he was pathing bot. You didn't respect. So yeah, it said that you don't respect. Nice. Good job. Nocturne, come straight. Come straight. Oh, but don't base. I had Proyo if he came straight. But they don't. They don't if he doesn't. Okay, I will use my uh, attack speed to look to contest the push. Maybe I can use Spike as well. Both cannot get though, right? They're champs. Okay, you're doing great, Lucian. Just lost a couple of plates. Okay, I tried to boot some AD, no sums though. When did Timo flash? Uh, Timo flash 340, something like that. So he's gonna get it back at 840. So when I get my ult, I will have 40 seconds to look to get him. I was gonna ping Oriana. Okay. okay, she's fine. She's more than fine. Okay, I'm gonna get ults now. There is a chance that Timo just based, and if he did, I would get played for that. Need to base as well and keep expending my deed. And if he didn't, I can do this. possible that Zin goes back top actually and not and not to Drake. I'm not gonna flip it, my team is winning. I don't need to go too crazy. Okay, 
Okay, what's going bot? But I didn't know that. Well, she's here. But I don't know where Timo is. What are we doing? Yeah, we're winning the game. Just, just chill bot lane, like you saw how, how risk averse I'm playing, top. They're not doing that, they should just be doing that. And they're not winning because of bot lane, they're winning because of uh, top side, so just play around this. I would base now. Hey, biz. Top side winning. But not the top. I don't care what Lucian says or tapes or thinks. We're just playing six scripts. Okay, I push that really fast, I go here and here. There's no shot, he's actually coming. Got the crab. 3D. I didn't need to ult. So I don't press Q, so I feel like I needed to ult. <laughs> Just trick my brain into thinking that this was not too bad. Well, same thing now. I kinda want to push. Do I wanna risk giving 800 gold to Zinzao? Not really. Okay, but now I see him. I mean, it's too late. Okay, I messed up here. Wait, chilling, me and Ari. Oh. As long as we don't give our shutdowns. Just want to get the Kraken. Wait, I might be dead here. Shouldn't be that close. I shouldn't, shouldn't have put myself in that position. Finally, we can play for many plates. The spike man. My bot lane is so bad this game. It's so so bad. <laughs> it 
It's okay, I can carry this. Plus I'm not alone. Carrot takes so long now compared to before. Is it one of our seven hundred? Gonna bing that I'm playing for, th for this. Probably dead. And a second E. Okay, well I'm not. I get my Navari now. How far can I raid Herald? I never understand how that shit works. Hopefully I'm not gonna grief it. Oh, I grifted it. Bro, what's your screen? <laughs> That's why you take uh, screen flash on damage or something. Wait, look at the top wave. It has crashed, it's too late. Search. Yeah, it's gonna push back to them after, so I still need to be top if I don't want my team to bleed out golden experience. By the way, when I use Herald, I thought I thought Organa was actually gonna push one more, but she had no mana and she wanted to pay TP. Which makes sense. I'm not gonna blame her. It's me that was unaware. Okay, I go Rage Blade because I'm I'm pretty fit, and then I go. I go Rage Blade, and then I go uh, what's it called? Process. Bro, every time I watch this, I can wanna puke. I take it.
Wait, did I not just take Scuttle? Why does it show that there is a Scuttle spawning? Okay, right at the moment. I can buy this in QSS. Mm, I'm not gonna wait actually because I'm gonna buy a pink ward as well. I was gonna say wait me on map, but I guess don't wait the three items through the mirror. I'm not I'm not useful to you guys. I will not help you win the fight with me three items. Probably this spike and this spike, man. Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely don't want to give my shutdown to Nila. That would be terrible. Four, three, two, one. Maybe I can sneak this. Do something, yeah. Another ping that I don't choose and resell. How did Ariana go from being Giga Fed to, to losing that to Kaysa? How did that happen? Ah, uh, he... I know where he is. I got juked. Yo, Pike! One minute without dying. Let's try this, one minute. You can go bot, I don't care. End up dying from that. One K on Timo. An ally has been slain. 
and Blake dies again when only Senna is alive. He did that. I shouldn't have ult. Care, 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 care. I have another thousand ultra down. Be careful with that. Sorry about my team doing random shit. I feel like doing that, which is just go Drake. A good thing someone is playing the objectives or losing or losing this. Like like we kill them and we lose we lose Nash. Like how does that happen? Do we have TP? We have TP on Ori. Maybe we can. But they have Kaisa. She doesn't have that much attack speed yet. I don't have me ult. I eat what would have thought. It's not even funny anymore. I mean, pretty terrible target selection. I don't know why you went for the Timo here. And I die from the burn. Let me play this again. And that's another 1k on Timo. I mean, we can still play off a big team fight, you know. It's always an option. Or picks if Pike lives for a minute. We're gonna have Soul also. Maybe. They only have one Nash on Zin and Zin. Not really gonna push something. I 
And if they wanna fight without me... Fighting without me. And how hard do these guys want to lose? Uh, I could have done more. My bad. My bad if we lose it. Like maybe as soon as I recognize that these are absolute animals, I should I should be grouping regardless. I should be grouping always, like not even catching a wave, pushing aside. Like like my idea was multiple times to just push aside in order to bring someone there. And then I rotate, but every time I would do that, someone would die. Like It's okay. I mean, it's supposed it. It was like we, we had some fun interactions. Went on the slaughter. Let's 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 not get too attached to the outcome. Like if I play every game like this, I'm gonna I'm gonna have good results. Hey guys, now that the game is over, we're gonna go back to the game. And for those who did the little game slash exercise of trying to find my mistakes, well, I will tell you what my coach called me on on that specific game. So. First mistake, did you see it? He looked like the first mistake he saw was like my W usage. And he saw it on the play and then he saw it on the next play. And look at this. Chilling. I think on the bounce up, back, I'll get up. maybe level four first. I get level first. four now. Oh, never mind. It's already level four. He gets in E range. Four. That, that's where I am. Yeah, that's the situation. Do I need to W here? So my take is just like out of habit, whenever you're facing a range and you're dashing in, in, in melee range, you're gonna dash in auto and they're gonna auto and after the next auto, they're gonna they're gonna turn you their back on you. And usually that's why E auto W. But I actually don't need to W, like look at that. I, I don't have the W slow on the bone spec. And I'm still able to hit one, two, three, four. Five autos. I could have hit the sixth one if I if I get it better. And now I could use W, and he would be hundred percent dead. I not hundred percent dead, but it would be granted flash. I mean, then he walks back, etc. But you get the idea. I I W'd where when I didn't need to W. Well, guess what's gonna happen soon when Pike comes. Same situation. Yes, Timo is really good and he walked back, he did the little step back and dodged my W. But what if instead of Wing, what if I just E'd on him right now? Or right now? What if I E instead of Wing? Well, first he would, he would probably turn back and he would actually like be here because he's looking to dodge the W. Like his next, next click would be towards me. But also it will be checkmate because he's in meta range. And then it's harder, like, it's it just like, like, I'm hitting him, you know, like, he, he's already in danger. And if he runs, then I have a guaranteed W. And if he doesn't, like, I didn't need that W to, to get in range. My idea was, like, if I W him, it's going to make it easier for Pike to actually, like, hit his abilities. But I feel like if I just dash in melee range and Pike just walks and we just, like, walk together and I E... And like he, he can hold on his Q on his E and he can wait for me to W. Like we don't have to do all of that shit. So Pike was really bad, but I could have done better. I could have just eat. And then like throughout the game, he just looked at my W usage and, and 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 since the coaching, I've been focusing more on my Ws and trying to use them with more intention and, and a smarter way.
Ok. Uh, Drake. What else did we talk about regarding the mistakes? Well, there's a pretty big the one, risky. which is prob like, probably pretty obvious to see that it was a mistake. But the reason how he phrases it, why is it actually a mistake, is something that I didn't realize. So at that point in the game, Pinching. I'm getting pretty fed. I have Kraken Slayer. Um, or Stomping. I have as long as some crit. And I'm facing Kaisa. Inting Kaisa at this point. Okay. I don't have ult, so I cannot... I, can, like, I cannot dive Kaisa from full HP without ult if she has if she has ult herself. So my idea right now is like I trade I trade to kind of force something. The Kraken. I trade to go for Kraken procs. I try to like here force something on her. Like if she keeps walking up, maybe I can get back in range, etc. But she gets all that damage. I might, I might be dead here. And ult in, so I end up killing her because I'm so fed. But the reason this is a mistake, for me, I said like it's a mistake because uh, my play only works if Kaisa like just like doesn't respect the spacing. It's the like it's not it's not consistent. But the way he says it, and it makes w way more sense. He says like right now, give. I'm in the mirror and I'm really fed, and I'm back on the map. So my role is to apply pressure. Right now, I can apply a ton of pressure. I can push this wave. And I have the wave pushed in. And Kaisa cannot really contest the push. Because then, if she gets in, in auto range... Sorry, guys, I'm sick. If she, if she gets in, in range of hitting my, my wave, then maybe I can get some ease, etc. I don't have to force shit. I just, I just clear the wave really fast. And then I, I, I can maybe like get some vision on their top games i can look for uh, a rotation mid dive <coughs> i can also just wait for my ult if i'm concerned that uh, kaisa and zin can collapse on me but like i don't have to go in the jungle and, and like straight up steal camps but but like we don't have info on these camps for example i'm really strong so my mission could be like to get information there to get to get Russian some vision downs. Uh, I can do it in a pretty safe way because I'm in the mirror. And I have my E and I have my W to scout bushes and I have vision here already. It could be on, only like checking red buff with my body and, and putting a ward on golems. And this way I have, I have info on like two camps already. Uh, come back, get Prayu and then, and then be in a position to actually pressure something by the time uh, grubs are up right now. But here like... I mean, yes, I am in a position to pressure it, but just because Kaisa messed up and, and didn't punish, punish me hard enough for it, my mistake was. But the biggest mistake is, yes, like, I, I'm having a lot of pressure right now on the map by just existing, and now I'm giving away all of that pressure. I'm not scaring anyone right now. Then Kaisa messes up and ults in and whatever, but it doesn't mean that it was the right play by me. So that was the other big mistake. Takes so um, long now. now, I will walk you into the next big, big one. So this one, it, it's it, it's it's a bit complicated because I end up like creating pressure enough pressure for Drake because like Timo and Kaisa are top. Probably dead. So I create space for my team so they can actually team. fight the Drake. But in my opinion, because uh, Frappy told me like, okay, this play, this play was okay, fine, well, not because I create the pressure to get the Drake, etc. So get I did my job. Right but for me, it was it was a bit too close. Like I, I was just I was a bit I too close to die here. And if I die, I already give a one K shut down. Anyway, this was really good. This was really like. The fact that I apply pressure mid, get the Herald, so a bit of a misplay on Herald, but it's not like that big of a deal. Oh, I guess it. I could have, I could have uh, kept the Herald alive and maybe charge another time, but I'm using actually the like mid pressure. Now Nile is stuck mid, and now I'm killing Zin. Now I'm going bot, and we're killing, and then I don't die to Nila not to give a 1k shutdown. So this is really good. And that's the one.
third big mistake. So first one, uh, double usage. Second one, like not using my pressure. Third one, tempo. Blamer. What do we mean by that? It's me that wasn't. This base Nowhere. is terrible, and Blamer. I didn't realize it. Um, even if I have a lot of gold. From what Frappy told me, even if I had my next full item right now in base, it will still be bad to back. And we can, we can look at it uh, from like one very easy perspective. Up, up, up. Let's see. It has crashed. It's too late. Oriana is going to be up in 15. And my bot lane is basing. If I base right now, I can spend my gold and I will be back on the map at the exact same time as Oriana, Lucian, Pike. Nocturne is a bit early on the tempo. Uh, or we are all late, but I guess I guess it's probably more early. And basing now would be really good because then you can walk back as a team all together and and make make a play and pressure points at at around the same time Touch. right now i have two items i'm really strong so i don't even need like i i have like it's not mandatory for me to go and spend that 1600 gold because like it's not gonna make the difference between me diving someone or not diving someone killing 1v2 or not killing 1v2 like i can i can 1v2 at this point I, i'm giga fed uh, at 17 minutes having kraken abori so then he said, so like, it's fine because I like why they were basing or dead. I used that time to actually like I pushed mid and then I pushed top. So I'm Push doing a lot of, of, first, of so work. And now by the time my team is finally in a experience. position to play. Up, up, up. To now they can P. play. I can come really fast on come back very fast on, on the map with E. Makes sense. I'm but now I'm, I'm telling them, yeah, guys, just wait for me. I'm just taking my base right now. So you're playing 5v4 on the map. And that's tempo. And I I I think I'm decent at recognizing tempo in like late mid game and late game. But at 17 minutes, like realizing like me, that, that it, it already where? matters that much. I, I yeah, I, I didn't I didn't really realize that. Okay. I go rage bait because and I'm that was actually another mistake that on on that I exact spot huge. like it doesn't cost us that much but it's the general idea that you don't want to desynchronize yourself from your team and now now we're back to actually being able to play but yes i'm i'm late i'm not coming from the right angle etc etc so yes it's still winning like you can be result oriented um and say, well, the play versus Kaisa was good because you kill her. Uh, not I mean, like you miss your W, but you, you still get the flash. Uh, you you based at this time and you end up getting a triple kill. So these are good plays. Well, they're not. They're not. They're not. That's not something that you should like do consistently. Straight the mirror. And then fourth yes. mistake on that play. Um. He didn't like the fact that I go in blind here. Um, I've been rewatching it. And I still think like that on the spot, on the hit of the moment, like it's really hard to recognize that that shouldn't be the play. Like just like, what if the angle was here? I, I just looked like, I don't know. I don't know, I just, I just felt like I could kill Kaisa really quick and then stack my Rage Blade and then turn on whoever's coming. Um, but yeah, so it was a mistake, but this is like the toughest one to uh, work on, let's say, because it's it's not going to be situations that you're going to see very often. But now let's get on fifth mistake. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Fifth mistake, which is Terrible. a huge one. Mm -hmm. And this one you can you can work on it pretty easily. So fifth mistake, my idea right now, my going bot was to catch that big wave. By the time Oriana is spawning, etc., I have a bit of time to catch that mid wave, and then I wanted to apply pressure bot to push bot, and then rotate to my team. 
because at that point half of the kills are just on me and I'm easily counterable by just like kiting, Timo Q's, uh, Zin ult, Nila dodge etc and I have zero trust in my team so winning a 5v5 is actually really tough but winning a 5v4 can be way easier and they don't have TPs to match me so that's my ID pressuring bot but instead of pressuring bot which would mean getting that bot wave and then pushing 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 and then by the time uh, Oriana is, is in a position to pressure something I will be pressuring something as well and I'll be already moving to, to my team. Instead. Oh, he... I know where he is. I'm chasing Timo. And even... Even if I... If I, like, didn't fall in, in his trap, etc. Like... I mean, okay. I guess I guess if I kill him really fast, it's fine. But this is not the play. And now look at me. I got juked. That's me applying pressure bot. Yo, Pike! One minute without dying. Then of course, Let's like try this. Pike dies and, and, and legit whenever I wanna do something I feel like I cannot because because they just die on CD. But still, that's how much pressure I applied bots. You you look at bot wave. That's 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 what I did. Uh I didn't do shit. I didn't pressure anything. So I got Timo Flash. Okay, so half of our kills as a team have been used to get Timo Flash. Amazing pressure. And now Timo is actually back bot and I'm playing pressure. Like sure that was that care. was really bad. And now after like doing a whole like whole turn. Now I'm close to my team and then and then I go for that shield's goal which is which is cheesy. Very but nice. if it could have worked though. I mean, kind of did, no? Okay, well, now I'm seeing another mistake. I didn't have to keep going here on Timo. And if I didn't keep going and just waited the last moment to press Q, I would stay alive. And if I would stay alive, my team would and kill Timo and we would get Nash. That's a mistake that yep. I'm seeing right now. Didn't have to commit like this, and then I gave I gave one Keisha down to Timo. Okay, and well, I think that's about it for the big mistakes. So there were five of them. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see anything that I forget about. I mean, we didn't talk about this too much, but probably a bit of a... I mean, I could say a bit of a... Wait, wait. Okay, I thought Ariana shielded the uh, Lucian. Um... I could say a bit of a desperate play, but actually not. Like my, my point here was like to try to deny yeah. as many Nash buffs as possible. I have one. But I give another one K shutdown. And then I mean I mean my team engaging at 29 minutes on their Nash timer. I don't think it's it's my fault not to be there with them because it's just like so stupid. So so yeah, those were the mistakes, the five mistakes. Did you find them? Did you not? Did you see any mistake that I didn't nor Frappy did? Well, let me know guys uh hope you enjoyed the format if you did we might do some better versions of it i was thinking that i post a video with like questions or or like a sort yeah, of uh, game in it you know me. and then uh so you guys can can put your answer in the comments and then the next day i will post either like a short video or uh yeah most likely a short video on youtube as well giving the answer and those who actually found the answer would gain something like RP I mean, how hard do these skins, games something. I think I think it would be pretty uh, fun. And, and so it's actually I mean, something that I realized that YouTube is actually lose it. YouTube could like be way more interactive. Shut up. YouTube could be way more interactive than it is. Um and so maybe I would try some interactive formats, but like actually interactive, like more interactive than than this, you know. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for participating. Take care, much love.
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh.